Yo, what's up guys? Got here my Gen 5 Glock 17 running like a fine oiled machine. Very nice gun. Uh, I've got quite a few rounds through it, not a ton. I'm talking about maybe 750 rounds through it, plus a couple different brands of hollow points. As always, zero malfunctions, but it's probably pretty dirty. Um, so I got this new ultrasonic cleaner by Yukoki. Uh, it's a different one. The ultrasonic cleaner we have at Double Action, which we use for cleaning guns, that thing that thing's costs like over two thousand dollars. You know, it's a big stainless steel one. This one I think is like ninety bucks. So it might even be cheaper. Uh, why don't I know the price of it? Because. Uh, Kevin sent me one of these uh, as a donation to the gun channel, but he, uh, his company sells these, so I should, you know, I'll, I'll show it, put the link under there. There's other people who like to use ultrasonic cleaners. This is great for people who hate cleaning guns. Uh, it does a better job than you can anyway, because the water, the solution gets in in between all the parts and it buzzes and it gets every little little nook and cranny of uh, dirt out of there. Now this is a, a ultrasonic cleaner cleaning solution that I use it's by uh, Lyman but um, you don't need to use this. This stuff isn't cheap. It's $15. I think that's a ridiculous price for this little thing. So you can also use which I've which I've used is simple green. You can use simple green like 50% simple green, 50% water, um, or you can use this stuff. Uh, any kind of degreasing detergent, you can use in an ultrasonic cleaner. The key to an ultrasonic cleaner is to protect the steel. As soon as it's done, you want to dry the parts off and oil them. Um, some guns I will not put in an ultrasonic cleaner because I can only take them down so far and with some parts left together, uh, I don't like putting it in there because water can get trapped in certain areas. The one at double action we have, we don't have to worry about that because we have an oil bath, which we dip the parts in an oil bath, which neutralizes any kind of moisture that's in the gun. I don't have that. This doesn't have that. This is a very basic one. So for guns like Glocks and guns that are really easy to take apart, and you can, and, or you know your gun well, like a 1911, you can rip it down to the bone. By all means, man, use the ultrasonic cleaner. As long as water can escape from the part in every way, uh, have at it. Put it in there. Now, this button here is called the TC button. That's your heater. See, that's the first thing I put on. That warms up uh, the cleaner. Now, you get two two baskets. Here's a here's the lid, and you get this basket. Okay. And then you get this this little basket. What this little basket for is a watch. Now you probably say, why would anyone throw a watch in an ultrasonic cleaner? Uh, if you have a G-Shock watch, you can throw it in an ultrasonic cleaner. Me and my buddy has have done it many times at Double Action. Actually threw it in Double Action's ultrasonic cleaner. It doesn't hurt the watch at all, and it cleans it awesome. Gets all that funk out of there. So if you have a waterproof good G-Shock watch or some kind of, you know, tough watch like this, I'm not talking about like a Movado or anything, you know, like a tactical watch that's decent, you can put it in uh, an ultrasonic cleaner. Yes, done it many times. So that's what that is. You put the bands in there and the face sits there and you put it in there. So you get this curved watch basket with it and you get this little basket with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole Glock apart uh, I'm really not going to take the frame apart because the Glock frame is uh, very simple. I don't have a problem putting it in the ultrasonic cleaner because I will um, blow it out with my air compressor uh, just to make sure all the water is out of it. So this gun's been running phenomenal. I definitely can shoot it better than the other generations because it has a nicer trigger. It has a nicer trigger and it has a nicer barrel and you've seen the video on it and the finish is very tough so I'm going to make sure it's safe pull the trigger pull the slide back and uh, pull this off 
and this captured recoil spring I just throw it in just like it is the barrel very dirty I'll just throw that in just like it is okay and now the whole slide but I'm not going to put the whole slide in until I take it apart so as you can see uh, the glocks are very easy to take apart you just throw everything in there these are great man if you really want to detail clean your gun firing pin there's the firing pin I was telling you about Glock made the firing pin a lot more heavy duty it's not that flat tongue now it's a round steel firing pin yeah that's very very nice so that's good you can throw that in there you can see how dirty it is from me shooting it and then the next thing we're gonna this little plunger here we're gonna throw that in there and then we are going to eject the extractor out by pushing that button which gets very dirty the extractor and there's a lot of friction on the extractor so make sure you oil this up well before you put it back in the slide and then here comes the uh, plunger which is shaped differently now it's shaped like a Glock 43 which causes a nicer smoother trigger pull now there's a little spring in there it's very very tiny so I'm just gonna leave it in there I mean you can pull it out but it'll probably fall through the, uh, the holes it's so small so I just leave it intact and throw it in there okay now the slide is 100% skeletonized there is no other parts in it so I have no problem throwing this slide in the ultrasonic friggin cleaner okay so what we're going to do is we're going to since it's small, I don't know if we can get the frame. Yeah, we can. So if you're going to put the frame in here, you can see how dirty it is. What I do when I put the frame in the ultrasonic cleaner, I just put it in upside down, just enough to water, you know, covers where it's dirty. I don't submerge the whole frame in there. So I'll just put that in there just like that. All right, so I got the heater on, and it was 178 minutes. Uh, I think it needs to be on longer than that. We're going to go up to four, and we're going to let it buzz. That you can hear it buzzing and then I want to show you the parts when we're finished okay I left it in there for about eight minutes with the heater on because uh, guns get uh, they don't just get dirty they get gummy and greasy and dirty so you really gotta um, buzz it so this is the frame so what I do next is I take the frame out just like it work and then see how nice and hot that is I think it's hot and I put it on a paper towel and just let it drain for a while as much as it can and then watch that water is hot so you want to lift the basket out and I don't change the water that that I mean you don't, you don't have to change the water that much you know when it starts getting black you change it some people change it every time dumb you don't have to change it every time so what I'll do is I'll put this any which way just upright so it drains and while that's draining I'll just do other things like make a holster if I'm, I got holster orders so while that's draining I let it drain for a while and uh, here's all the little parts and yeah, make sure you use a paper towel because it absorbs a lot of a lot of the solution off there these are all the parts for the Glock slide. Okay, now when they're done draining, I'll hit them with the air compressor and then uh, I'll show you how nice and clean it gets. So, right now, I would leave that, unless you're in a hurry, I'd leave that sit like that for like, I don't know, a half hour just to let it drain as much as you can. If you're in a hurry, get an air compressor, blow it all the way out, but I would let it drain for a while first. Okay, this is. This is a nice ultrasonic cleaner. I do have another one from uh, Lehman. It doesn't get as hot as this one. You see that steam coming off there? My Lehman one uh, doesn't get that hot. It just gets warm. This thing gets hot. And uh, that's very impressive. That really helps get the dirt out of anything you're doing. Uh, you can use this for jewelry. You know, like I said, waterproof watches. Uh, as far as the watches go, depending on what I was talking about, you don't have to turn the heater on. You can just turn the heater off if you don't want to put the heater on when your watch is in there. You just turn it off. But uh, this one, um, I think, is a little bit more powerful than my Lyman. I like it. Thank you, Kevin. This thing's awesome. So, all right, when we're all done, we're going to show you how nice and shiny all the parts are. 
uh, let it air dry for a little bit. Okay, parts are all drained, pretty much somewhat dry. Give it a good shake, and uh, I'll do now. Let's get my uh, air compressor if you have one. There, what the hell is that? Sound? There it is. And I'll just. So, some people are concerned about the ultrasonic cleaner with their expensive night sights. Uh, I put them in there all the time. It doesn't seem to bother them any. As you can see, it's still nice and bright, that, that front sight. And do it all the time. It doesn't seem to affect it at all. So, this gun's clean. And then when I get to work, I'll put like 10 rounds to it to give it a good function test. You could do a dry function test, but uh, it makes me feel better when I do a shoot it for real. So, and it's ready. Okay, I'll give it a final wipe down, dry it off so you know it's slippery. And uh, that's it. I'll leave the link under there. If you guys want to get yourself an ultrasonic cleaner, um, click away. See you later.